All right, hello. We are continuing section 4.8. This is just kind of the second part of the letter, uh, lesson. We talked about imaginary numbers, right, that have i in them. Remember that i is just allows us to do negative square roots. Uh, and i stands for the square root of negative 1. And it's useful for, like, if I want to do the square root of, like, negative 100, that is actually both plus or minus 10 imaginary, right? So square root of regular 100 is 10. Square root of negative 100 is just 10 imaginary. Okay, and so this video, uh, last video we talked about add, subtract, multiply. And this video is going to go over how to divide with um, imaginary or, or complex numbers. So they're going to kind of look like this. That's kind of our end goal uh, in this lesson. But uh, we got a little couple pieces before that. Okay. So dividing complex numbers. And then if you want to write down what a conjugate is, it's just uh, numbers that are have this form, like a plus bi and a minus bi. So basically, the real parts match, the imaginary parts match, but that all that's different is one's a plus, one's a minus. So uh, we're going to need to be able to find the conjugate, right? And so I got a couple complex numbers down here. See if you can find what would be the conjugate of these. Pause the video and see if it makes any sense at this point. Okay, so all I got to do is switch the sign between them. So this should become 4 minus 3 imaginary. And don't change the sign on the 4. Sometimes students want to change the sign on both, but just do the sign in between them. So the second one, this would be the negative conjugate. So we just have to change it to be a plus between them. And that would be the conjugate of that number. Okay, so when you multiply conjugates together, it's pretty magical, actually. So I have these two complex numbers, but uh, actually... Maybe pause the video and see if you can remember how to do that multiply process. So give this a shot before continuing with the vi video. All right, here we go. So I'm going to FOIL. So 7 times 7, last time I checked, is 49. 7 times 2i was just going to be plus 14i. Negative 2i times 7, negative 14i. And then negative 2i times positive 2i would be negative 4i squared. I guess I should just write it down here. I don't know why I wrote it up there. Um, but now we got to do a bunch of cleanup. Okay, and so here's part of the magic is these positive and negative 14i cancel out. So we just have 49. And then this is like negative 4 times negative 1. Because remember that i squared is negative 1. So negative 4 times negative 1 becomes a plus 4. And then we can add those together using some basic math skills. And so that whole thing cleans up to just 53. And again, the magical part is these parts in the middle cancel each other out. And we get this kind of statement of just 53. So kind of a magical deal with conjugates. OK, so dividing. OK, so. We're going to use the conjugate thing here in a second. Uh, we don't necessarily need it on this particular one, but one of the things that's goofy about dividing complex numbers is you don't you don't really do any division, right? We're actually not going to take the nine and divide it by three, and the twelve and divide it by three i. But it's more, I would say, what we're really doing here is simplifying. Okay, so I don't know. Technically, it's called dividing, but really, we're going to simplify, and. Someone a long time ago, I'm not sure, probably Johnny Mathematician, decided that don't want i in the denominator. All right, so basically what we end up having to do is we have to multiply the top and bottom by something that wipes out i in the denominator. Okay, and as long as we use the same thing on the top and bottom, it doesn't change the value of the fraction. So, you know, if I had the fraction, it's supposed to be 1 half, believe it or not. Let's see if I can do it better. 1 half. And if I take the top and bottom times 4, that's like multiplying by 1. And so I just end up with the fraction 4 eighths. And it's still the same as my original fraction. So we're going to use that same concept here. We're going to multiply the top and bottom by the same value. Okay, and we want to wipe out the i. So this would be a good challenge if you want to pause the video and see if you can figure out what would I multiply by here that would wipe out i in the denominator. Okay, and so the answer is, um, there's a lot of different things, but basically if I just take it times i, then I'll have 3i squared. So if I do this, 
about 3i squared. Okay, and then that'll be fantastic because that'll just become negative 3. All right, we'll have 3 times negative 1, negative 3, and then i will be out of the denominator. You also could have answered 3i or negative 3i. That would also work. Right, those would also wipe it out, but the simplest is just going to be to do i. Because we multiplied the bottom denominator by i, we also have to take the top times i. So I'm going to distribute that in here. So the top is going to be 9i plus 12i squared. All right, and then again, i squared is negative 1. So I can write this as 9i minus 12, 12 times negative 1. Okay, and then I wouldn't always do this last step, but because the minus 3 evenly divides the two top parts, we can actually do a little division here. So 9i divided by negative 3 would be negative 3i, and then negative 12 divided by negative 3 becomes positive 4. So we've cleaned this one up nice and pretty um, by multiplying the top and bottom by i. Okay, slightly harder example. So... The first thing would be, what am I going to multiply by, right? I want to wipe out i in the denominator. So what I want to multiply the top and bottom by. Pause the video and see if you can figure it out. All right, if you said the conjugate, you are correct. So basically, we are going to use what we used before and do, uh, instead of 3 plus 4i, we just switch the sign in between it. And the reason is, if we go back a couple slides, conjugates they magically come out as just a number like this. Okay, so on this particular one, we just take the top and bottom times 3 times 4i, okay, and it'll wipe out i in the denominator. So I'm going to do the steps kind of down below here, but if I FOIL, we do 3 times 3, that's 9, then do 3 times negative 4i, negative 12i, 4i times 3, that's positive 12i, 4i times negative 4i would be negative 16i squared. And then we just got to do a bunch of cleanup. So these combine to 0. And then this is going to be negative 16 times negative 1. So it's going to become plus 16, also known as 25. Okay, so our denominator, super pretty. Now look at that. Real pretty, 25. Okay, and then in the top, I'm just going to distribute a times 5, so it's going to be 15 minus 20i. Okay, and then there's no i squared or anything, so nothing else to clean up in the numerator. However, um, all this is a pretty tricky. If you get here on the test, I'd take it, you know, unless I was in a horrible mood or something, but I'm just kidding. I would take this on the test. So you can clean up a little further because... 15, 20, and 25 are all divisible by 5, so I'd have 3 minus 4i and 5. Okay, so it does clean up one step further, and then since the 5 doesn't divide these parts evenly, we're just going to leave it in that form. Okay, so I think, you know, the hard part is sometimes figuring out what do you got to multiply the top and bottom by, all right? So... If you want to pause the video and, and think through what you would multiply top and bottom by, that's probably going to be the most important part of this. Um, so if you want to pause, think it through, then on pause and check your answer. Okay, so first one, we're going to do the conjugate. So it's going to be 1 minus i on top and bottom. Same thing here. Oops doing an equal sign. I'm going to multiply the top and bottom by the conjugate, so it would be negative 2 plus 5i. Just switch the sign between them. Okay, I'm not actually going to do all the math on this, but uh, yeah. And then on the last one, when you don't have a plus or minus, you have just a single thing, I would just multiply by i. Again, you could do 3i or negative 3i, but I would just multiply by i and then it should be okay. Okay, so last thing is I actually have two more examples. If you want to try these um, to get a little extra practice, you can. If you feel okay, you can kind of skip this part of the video. But I thought I'd put two more examples in here just in case you wanted to see this again or wanted a little extra practice. So this is our lesson on dividing. And we basically just want to make it so that there's no longer I in the denominator. So if you want practice, pause the video and see, uh, 
try these and then I'm paused to see the answer. Okay, first one, I'm just gonna multiply the top and bottom by I. Okay, and then the denominator will become six I squared. Numerator, you can distribute it. So that's four I minus I squared. And now it's just time to clean up. These I squareds become negative one. So our denominator is negative six. And our numerator would be 4i plus 1. This would be minus negative 1 when we replace i squared with negative 1. Nothing divides evenly here, so we'll just kind of leave it in that form. Okay, second one is where we got to use the conjugate again. So we're going to multiply the top and bottom by 2 minus 4i. Okay, and as you get the hang of conjugates, you know, you don't have to, if we know kind of the middle is going to be negative 8i, and then this one's going to be, oh shoot, I should have done a plus. What am I doing? What am I doing? Um, that would make it right, because now I'd have negative 8i and positive 8i, so that would cancel out in the middle. So when I do my foiling, I might not even do those steps, right? Because I know the outer two and the inner two are going to cancel out. Okay, so basically I'm just going to do 2 times 2, 8. And then do negative 4i times positive 4i would be negative 16i squared. And then that's going to become 8 plus 16, 24. So that's our denominator, cleaned up nice and pretty. Numerator's got a little bit of work. I'm going to do it up here because I ran out of space. But I'm going to distribute, so I'm going to have 6 plus 12i. All right, and then there's no i squared there, so we're actually done so far the numerator. Okay, and then this is a case where all of these are divisible by 6, so I would clean this up a little bit then, so it would be 1 plus 2i over 4, because they're all divisible by 6, and that would be our simplest answer right there. Okay, so that's it. This lesson was on dividing with imaginary numbers, and basically you just got to get rid of i in the denominator like is shown in these two questions. All right, thank you for watching.